Georgia Tech is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tar Heels right now, Kirk, I think they've just got to play within themselves. Sometimes you get at home and you get a little bit too fired up at the beginning of a game. I agree with you. I think sometimes there's a tendency for certain teams to press a little bit because they're trying so hard to keep this home crowd in the game and they've been waiting all week and they're so excited. Sometimes you force a play. Let's let the play naturally come to you and react to it. So we'll see if this team playing at home jumps the gun a little bit or if they just let the game come to them. Throws and it's incomplete. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. From their own 34-yard line, it's third down. made at about the 37 yard line short gain by the running back and that's a first down smart run maybe it won't look great on the stat sheet but getting the first is what matters quick strike to the receiver and he's taken down at around the 44 yard line and run up the gut. That'll be a first down there on the four-yard pickup from the back. Well, the important thing is they were able to pick up the first down, and they're really starting to show how much they're relying on this halfback to do all of the work. And right now, he's looking pretty good. Scrambling around. And down he goes at the 45-yard line. That scramble gets them seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. He's got an opening. This kind of execution from an offense can really affect the defense in their sight. That's the second time on this drive alone they've been able to convert on a third down. This defense has got to be able to kind of gather themselves and try to find some confidence. And somebody on that defense has got to be able to make a play to slow this offense down. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Tackle at the 29. Three-yard gain by the running back. That makes it second and six. And he's tackled around the 13-yard line. I'm a huge fan of the play-action pass in college football because play-action, it really puts a lot of pressure on the defense. The defense gets caught up and concerned about the running game, and it puts them out of position, and it makes the throwing lanes for the quarterback and the windows that he's trying to find much easier to find for a quarterback and the receivers to pick up big yards like we just saw there. tackles him hard at the 16. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. Here we go. He's got all day. Throws out and through his hands. North Carolina is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Got 
He's to the 40. Across midfield, and they make the stop around the 43-yard line. That's a team 32 on the play. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 43. Laterals back. He's knocked out of bounds at the 30. Game 13 on the way. First down. Watch the run. Watch the run. Mike Nine. Mike Nine. Bang Hill. Bang Hill. Bang Hill. Oklahoma. Uh, alert, alert. Lion, lion. Hut. Hut. Hit hard for a loss. Taken back three yards. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. From the 33 yard line, it's second down. the middle for a nice game. Call it in five yards. That'll bring up third and eight. And he hauls it in. He's taken down at the 13. That makes it first and 10. It's first and ten. Ball on the 13-yard line. Down! Oklahoma! Cut. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. run and he's brought down that was a good play by the halfback picked up about five yards on the option that makes it third and three and this is the eighth play of the drive and he just gets rid of it an exciting first quarter comes to an end. 3 nothing, Tar Heel. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Georgia Tech is looking to tie things up. It's up, and it is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He chucks it downfield. Drops. It's second and ten. Ball in the 25. It's a fumble. It's recovered. Once the ball hits the ground, it's a matter of luck and will. And on that play, it was the defensive end who crowded for his side. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down.
After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep, those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. And he's taken down at the 31-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He's to the 40. Brought down at the 41. Now he took the pitch there and was able to get the first down. It's a nice option play. From their own 41-yard line, it's first down. Mike nine. Mike nine. That's a great tackle at the 44-yard line. Makes it to the 44. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44. Watch two, watch two. And they fall on the loose ball. It didn't really seem to me that anybody on this offense really knew where that option was going. Fortunately for them, they were able to hang on to the ball. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. Second down and 14. Ball on the 48. They'll bring him down around the 40-yard line. That makes it 37. On play action, he'll scramble. And they got him. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Here we go. Red 68. And he's stopped behind the line. That's a loss of five yards. That'll bring up second and 15. From their own 15-yard line, second down. And he's tackled right away. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. to the receiver, incomplete. Number 14, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and seven. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. 
He's to the 40. Looking for the corner. Tackle made at the 50. Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. You wonder now if this guy will get alligator arms the next time the ball comes his way. It's been known to happen. From midfield, it's second down. that takes the field on fourth down. Mike Nine, Mike Nine. Set, tech six, cut. Outside after a nice pickup. This is so difficult to defend. This is a perfect illustration of how to run the option, and it was perfect enough to get the first right there. Now he tries to buy some time. They bring him down. It's a big time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. He's on the run. Runs with it, and he's got room. Tackle made around the 29-yard line. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Georgia Tech could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up. Great first half comes to a close. Georgia Tech's got a three-point lead. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Defense has been in total control in the first half, and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence is shaken. But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives, our defense has got our back. Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great, too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass, and if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games, and you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, bro. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But, look, wait. Don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. All right, Reese and Davis, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. 
excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offensive coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets. And I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with him to realize how important it is to finish these drives. And down he goes at the 26-yard line. Second and nine, ball on the 26-yard line. Georgia Tech has a three-point lead. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. to bring on the punt team. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. He really got a hold of that one. Brought down at the 30-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Throw, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Number 14, the intended receiver on the play. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Quick throw to the tight end. He's hit and taken down. Some open field. And he's taken down around the 49 yard line. Quick throw, and he's tackled at about the 49. Zips it out to the left. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Ready! Ready! Flips it, middle to the running back. Tackle at the 46-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. Fourth down. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. And here's the, wait a minute, the upbacks got it. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Mike nine, Mike nine. Georgia Tech is up a field goal. Set, blue 14. On the pitch, look out, loose ball. And who's got it? One of the defensive linemen. And that's a very heads-up play by the defensive end to jump on that fumble. Here's a great job of the defense there to take advantage of the mistake and cause that turnover. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Makes the catch and look out. And they make the stop around the 34-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Wide receiver screenplay. And he's leveled at the 29. Number 15 makes the tackle. Tackles him for a loss. 
That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. North Carolina is down three and looking to tie it up. It has the distance, and it's good! The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Last time the offense had it, they lost a fumble. So I'm pretty sure the coaching staff was over there talking about ball security. You don't change your philosophy after one play. They'll be out doing the same thing as before, just with better awareness. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. The fullback rumbles ahead for about a yard. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. And they got him. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. And they're coming after this punter. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Tackle at the 31, and he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. with room to work. He's out of bounds at the 48. About five yards that time on the throw. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. He's at the 40. He's taken down around the 35-yard line. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. the open and he tackles him hard at the 23. I'll tell you what this defense better start to get pressure on the quarterback they're giving him way too much time back there to throw the football. Slings it he's brought down in the open field. First down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Here we go! Great Takes it left side, and he's brought down to the backfield. So at the end of the third quarter, 6-6 six, six ball game. That brings him second to goal. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Another run. He takes it right side for a good game. Sacked 
for a loss. That's a loss of 13 on the way. That brings up fourth and goal. They'll call on the field goal unit here. It's up, and it's through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Kirk, I got to ask you, are these two offenses that anemic, or are the defenses that good? I think it's a combination of both. I think both of these offenses have shown at times an ability to execute and put points on the board, but they're playing against two really good defenses. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. They'll bring him down at the 34. That's good for gaining nine yards. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He sails it long. Can't haul it in. the 33-yard line. And this one is a beauty. And he's tackled at the 22. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. A score here might effectively end this one. North Carolina is up by three. Fires quickly and it's picked off. Tackle made at about the 27-yard line. That interception breathes new life into this team. I'm not quite sure I would have made that pass. It obviously wasn't open. This quarterback's got to be more conservative with the ball when they have the lead late in the game like this. First and 10, ball on the 27-yard line. Makes it to the 17. The 10. That's a great tackle at the five yard line. First and goal from the four. They're knocking on the door. Touchdown, and they take the lead. He makes the PAT. It was a quick three-play, 28-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So the score now, 13-9. Georgia Tech is lining up to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. And down he goes at about the 37-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Yeah, 
gets to about the 37 yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. That makes it second and 10. the middle and he's stuffed. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That'll make it third and 13. Third and long here in the fourth and this is the biggest third down of the ball game. Six yards that time on the pass play. It's a well-designed play to the halfback, and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He takes it at the 12. Well, if you like defensive football, you got to love this one. Neither one of these offenses have gotten really into a rhythm the entire ball game. Still the fourth quarter to be played. It's anybody's game. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Good option play. The fullback got about six yards there. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And they get nice yardage on that run. Huge first down right there by the offense, Brad. At this point, they're just trying to work the clock and preserve the victory. Just under two to go in the game. It's on the ground. It's scooped up, and it's a lineman that's got it. Close one there. Maybe the ball carrier will try a little harder to secure the ball next time. There was some fear scrapping for that one. Mike Nine, Mike Nine. Hey, hey. And he is drilled at the 49 yard line. That's good for the three yards. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 49 yard line, it's second down. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. That's a gain of eight on the play. That, that makes, makes it first and ten. Tight, guys, double tight. Four down, four down. Mike nine, Mike And this nine. should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Blue 14. Blue hey. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. North Carolina staff and really this entire team, I'm sure, is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is they're, they're a team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.